I'm here at Central Texas Gunworks. I'm going to meet up with Mike Cargill, and he is going to teach me about gun safety, gun selection, and how to properly shoot a gun. This is the first step to true female empowerment and uber feminism. Well, my name is Michael Cargill, and I want to welcome you to Central Texas Gunworks. Uh, we do beginning handgun classes here, concealed handgun classes, level three and level four private security classes. And we're also a full-fledged gun store. So we actually can sell you NFA firearms. We can sell you an automatic rifle. We can also sell you a suppressor. We're actually the closest manufacturer because we're a manufacturer to the Texas State Capitol. So I'd like to welcome you to Central Texas Gunworks. So Jason, there are a lot of women out there that have absolutely no idea how to handle a gun or how to even choose the proper gun. I know for myself, I'm very klutzy, so that's the thing that frightens me is I want something that feels comfortable in my hand that I can have at home or on my person and it'll be easy to control and, and won't be intimidating. The number one thing is you want to be comfortable with it. Uh, I can put any kind of firearm in your hand. If you're not comfortable with it, it's going to be worthless to you. It's going to be more of a hazard than anything. You know, with uh, females, I like to, you know, ask them a few questions, you know, really, are you going to be more likely to carry it, say, like in your purse? Um, or would you actually have it on your person, like an inside the waistband or, a, you know, a normal holster? For a purse carry, uh, I would recommend uh, a revolver. Um, if you're keeping it in your purse, you, um, you know, if something happens, you need to get to it and use it. A lot of times you may not have the time to actually draw it out of your purse. Uh, requiring you maybe even to just shoot through your purse at whatever you know is coming at you. Just make sure it feels good. You know that's that's really going to go more than anything to making you feel comfortable and getting you to want to shoot it more, excited about it, want to learn more about it. It's all about how it feels to you. I mean, and you'll you'll know. I mean, once you once you pick it up and feel it, it'll kind of talk to you. Right, because it doesn't do much use to have a gun in the house if you can't exactly. discharge it quickly. You want to be as educated as you can. Um, and that's what we strive to do here. You know, we want to teach you everything we can about the gun um, so you can leave here confident and comfortable and have the tools you need to continue to practice what you learned on your own time. We're just on the outskirts of Austin um, at a gun range, which is our private range that we use uh, for all of our classes. And today you're actually going to get an opportunity to shoot a Aruga 22, a Glock 19, a 38 Special revolver, and also an AR-15 and a 12-gauge shotgun. So you're going to you're going to have some awesome, you know, an awesome experience here and your instructor today is going to be Jeremy. Jeremy's a Marine Corps sniper and he's very good at what he does. Very so he'll be nice and patient with me. Absolutely. He's going to be very patient with you. Uh, we're going to take it at your pace and you're going to get a good experience. I'm excited. Awesome. All right, so first and foremost, it's always safety, right? I know you covered it in the class earlier, but it's always you never tr point at anything you do not intend to shoot. Always keep the weapon on safe until you intend to fire and keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. <gasps> Perfect. Oh my God. Right. Finger off the trigger if we're not ready to fire. Holy moly. <laughs> that was... <laughs> you don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, and in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Oh, God. Oh. One of my arguments against guns is you don't need assault weapons for self-defense. But joining me now are the Gun Girls, two women who says precisely why they need them. Celia Bigelow is Director of Campus Action for American Majority Action. Aubrey Brankenship is the Director of Communications at the Blue Ridge Arsenal in Chantilly, in Virginia. Welcome to you, ladies. Yeah, thank thanks you. for having us on. Explain to me why you believe you need an AR-15-style assault rifle. Well, I personally bought one for self-defense. One, they're lightweight, they're quite accurate. I can shoot them much accurate, more accurately than a handgun or a shotgun. And three, these, I'm gonna pull a David Gregory right here and I can hold up my 30 um, round magazine right here because it's actually legal in Virginia. But um, I, I want a gun that can hold a lot of ammo because if I'm faced with an intruder or multiple intruders that come into my home, I want to make sure I have enough ammo to get the job done, especially if they're armed. So I want to have, they essentially serve as an insurance mechanism to make sure that I have enough rounds that if multiple intruders come in and they're armed, I don't have to take the time to reload.
in Houston, Texas, there was a 15-year-old boy alone at home, and he was def he was home alone with his 12-year-old sister when two intruders tried to enter in, in the front door and in the back door of his house. He grabbed his AR-15 and shot at them, and they ran away. A 15-year-old at home with his 12-year-old sister when burglars try to break in. That's when investigators say the boy grabbed his dad's assault rifle and started shooting, and he hit one of the men repeatedly. This all unfolded this afternoon in the 2600 block of Royal Place Court. 11 News reporter Sharon Min Chow talked with neighbors and investigators. Anxious family and friends crossed the yellow tape into a surreal crime scene. A 15-year-old boy and his 12-year-old sister had been home alone in the Mount Royal Village subdivision. Then about 2.30, a pair of home invaders tried the front and back doors, then broke a back window. A young boy was protecting his sister. You know, he was in fear for his life and, and for his sister's life. The brother grabbed his father's assault rifle and knew what to do with it. His dad is a Precinct 1 deputy constable. We don't try to hide things from our children in law enforcement. The children were not hurt. The home invaders fled, leaving a trail of blood. Two suspects showed up at Tombaugh Hospital. One, the adult, had multiple gunshot wounds and was flown to Memorial Hermann Hospital. The second, a juvenile, was taken back here. Detectives walked the suspect through the crime scene. Meantime, neighbors say burglars had recently struck the two houses next door, which included the deputy's home. They stole everything, what they have inside. They really did it one time. And this may be the last time, at least for these suspects. A brave mom takes aim to protect her family from home invaders busting down the door. That's just the start of a drama that played out in front of a surveillance camera. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykhead is live downtown. Police headquarters tonight to show you how this all went down. And Simon, they certainly messed with the wrong mom here, huh? This mom was prepared to do anything to defend her young, and remarkably, it was all caught on video. Take a good look at the three teenage punks caught here on surveillance video. They don't know it yet, but they've picked the wrong home to rob. They break down the door and race in, only to find the mom inside, locked, loaded, and about to pull the trigger of this rifle. One of these young thugs also has a handgun. He drops right here as they make a run for it. Then he boldly picks it up and goes in one more time, only to get another dose. The brave mother in the home was defending her two young children here on Woodrow Wilson. She and her husband recently had security cameras installed after a different break-in attempt just two weeks ago. This time, she didn't have time to feel fear, only to react. I let them know I had a gun once they was in the house, and they uh, challenged me and said, I don't have a gun. So that's when I shot off the first round. I wasn't feeling anything at the moment. I got scared afterwards. Once she called 911, Detroit police were quick to respond and go after these three thugs. It didn't take long for them to get locked up. The cops got all three of them and the gun they had. I, I give them a lot of credit because they handled it the same night. As Chief Craig has said in the past, I mean, there's no more, your time is up. We don't have any more patience for criminals in this city. We will get you, we will find you, and you will go to jail. We don't know exactly what these lowlifes came to steal, but one of the children inside knew mom would protect her and her valuables at all costs. She said, oh no, mommy, I don't want them to take my piggy bank or my toys. Important to mention, nobody was hit by any of that gunfire. In the meantime, kudos to Detroit police for great work. If you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Have the shells of 12 gauge shotgun, and I promise you, as I told my wife, we live in an area that's wooded and somewhat secluded. I said, Jill, if there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here, or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun, and fire two blasts outside the house. Shotgun. I know how to shoot it. <laughs> in a zombie type situation, I know that I can protect myself. Is it the gun for me? I don't know. Unless they make smaller ones, I guess. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun.
You don't need any lecture. You just have to look and see what happens to the women following Biden's advice or the women that follow somebody who knows something about guns advice. <laughs> what do you make of him saying, walk out and fire it in the air? In most cities, that's a reckless discharge. You're going to go to jail. I mean, he's giving people felony advice. Uh, somebody already did that, and he has been charged. And the problem is what goes up has to come down. And so if you're just fi firing to follow Uncle Joe's advice, uh, you may put a load of buckshot right in the, the pool party. Uh I love American freedom, baby. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for showing me the ropes today. I was really very much afraid when I first stepped in here. And now I see it's it's not that frightening. I just need a little bit more practice. I was quite surprised getting to test out all those different kinds of guns. Initially, I really thought a revolver was gonna be for me. At least this particular style was a little difficult to pull the trigger, quite difficult. If I was in a, a dangerous situation where I had you know only seconds, that wouldn't have been the gun for me. Very exciting feeling very empowered. This is definitely the good first step towards true female empowerment, uber feminism. This is what feminism is all about, is to be able to protect yourself, to not be afraid, to look danger right in the eye. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. It's not about keeping guns out of the hands of law-abiding Americans, and I'm sick and tired of people lying to the American people. We're not, we're not proposing a gun registration system. We're proposing background checks for criminals. No one's taking away all the guns. One will be able to be armed. We yes, will take all yes, weapons. Sir. I'd love to see that. <laughs> In uniform. <laughs> You've heard it here. I'm on television, so everybody knows it. I believe in the Second Amendment. I believe in people's lawful right to bear arms. <laughs> I will not take your shotgun away. I will not take your rifle away. I won't take your handgun away. Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in. <laughs> Look at that.